Oh, yeah. Even the mainstream media got this one right. Yes, the lying Pinocchio media. The media that is the propagandist arm of the Democratic Party and the hardcore leftists. Oh, yeah, that media. CBS News, folks. You will literally, literally sort of laugh as you hear what this is saying. Maybe you'll cry, actually, because part of me actually wanted to cry. But listen to what they say in this news article. This is CBS News. I'll read the first line, and then maybe I'll read two lines for you, maybe even three, but take a listen to what they have to say. And folks, I hate to tell you this, but we told you so. We are not Russian apologists. We are not Putin apologists. But we know what the Bible tells us is going to happen. So pay attention to what the Pinocchio media is actually saying about Russia. Yes, by the way, the same media that has continued to scapegoat everything into Russia, but that's beside the point. Listen to this line right here. The Russian ruble is the best performing currency in the world this year. That was a moment of silence for the U.S. dollar, which continues to fall because you may or may not know this, but the last 60 or 70% of all U.S. dollars printed have been printed during the Biden regime. That is absolutely no joke, and we are suffering at their hands because of it. We've already been talking about inflation left and right, but look at what this article continues to say. Two months after the ruble's value fell to less than a U.S. penny amid the swiftest, toughest economic sanctions in modern history. Yeah, right, the toughest economic sanctions. That's part of the little Pinocchio lie, right? Russia's currency has mounted a stunning turnaround. The ruble has jumped 40% against the dollar since January. Mm, I wonder what contributes to that. Maybe the falling value of the dollar and maybe the fact that Putin is a lot smarter than everybody thinks and is still the number one holder of all the energy cells that exist right now to all kinds of other European states. Folks, we said this was going to happen. Not because we're prophets or the sons of prophets. I'm not claiming to be a prophet or a son of prophet. But I can tell you this. I can tell you that the book of Ezekiel chapter 38 tells us of a Russia and a leader of Russia in a region by the name of Magog with a series of other nations that come against Israel and nobody in the international community is capable of defending Israel except God himself who successfully does it. And we read about that in Ezekiel chapter 39. But folks, when everybody keeps running their mouths and saying that Russia is going to be weakening and weakening and weakening and weakening, they get it wrong every single time. You want to know why? Because God's word says that Russia will be at a strong point amongst the nations when they go to attack Israel. And that's how we know Russia's downfall is not going to play out that way. Same reason why we know we're not going to end in nuclear war. Same reason why we know all kinds of things about the subject of global warming and everything else that goes to it because the Bible tells us what's going to happen. And I advise instead of listening to the talking heads, studying the fake news, and looking around for articles that give you some kind of semblance of understanding for what's going on there, you be a student of God's word because God's word will tell you everything you need to know. Enough said. God bless you guys.